this is gonna be really the first video of this series that we have the guys filming. I've been doing some, uh, Makina's about 13 weeks uh, yesterday. So she has been, I've been doing some stuff in the house without these guys. Quite honestly, I think we get better results. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> come on, good girl. You can see how good her recall is. That's something we're gonna work on. But we're going to start filming this outside stuff because today, part of the reason that we need to do some of this heel work, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put her on a lead for the first time to do a little heel work um, because she's gotta get a little, she's gotta start getting good at it. Um, and it's a great time, I think maturity wise, she's there. We've been working a lot of place stuff. I've been working on some feeding time stuff. Uh, a little bit of retrieving stuff. She's coming along pretty good. She's pretty confident, which you can see. So I I need recall to be improved. Part of recall is going to be some of heel work, so I got to get that in place. So what I do with her is I take her for walks every day. Makina, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good girl, come on, let's go, let's go. Ha, 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 let's go, come on, let's go, we're going, there you go, good girl, come on, come on. So she's got to figure out to pay a little bit of attention to me, she gets pretty easily distracted. Good girl, come on, come on, that's it, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is where the cameras get in the way of things. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on, let's go, good girl. That's it. Now she wants to go that way, so I'm going to go this way. Come on. Come on. Good girl. So our, I take her for at least one or two walk, pretty good walks a day, letting her explore. Sometimes she's got the bigger dogs with. She never wears a collar, so this is the first time she's had a collar on. So just her getting, she itched at it a little bit. Just getting her used to that is going to be something we do today. Good girl. Now look at how she's paying attention to me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl, that's it, that's it, that's it. So she runs by me, I turn and go the other way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good dog, here, 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 here. Good, 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 oh, good, good, good. Come here, good. She's real hesitant to come all the way in, so I don't really reach for her much. There, very good. You notice how I wasn't gonna reach out for her. That would have turned into a dodge and get out of here, dodge and get out of here. So we get her to come back in. Now, because I got her here, she's gonna stay here. This is the first time she's gonna be on a lead. Now my wife took her for a walk the other day and she said she filmed it with her phone. She put her on a lead and she said, man, she got really good by the end. She said, I filmed some of it. I said, well, that's good because she's never been on a lead before. So. I'm just gonna let her figure out now. Normally, I stake a dog out. The conditions don't if I need to. And the idea of that is to get them to give to the pressure of the neck. Well, conditions don't allow for that. It's way too cold out. Um, it's just, we can't do that right now. So, what we're doing is, I'm gonna be the stake this time. Now, what I, you, you notice about her personality, and I'm learning her personality a little bit too. She felt a little bit of pressure on her neck and she froze. That's okay. I don't, I mean, that's, that's something I actually think is pretty good for what we're going to do in the future. Now what I got to get her to do is I got to get her to move with me. And I bet you she panics a little bit. So you're going to just, I'm going to, I'm not going to talk to the cameras as much. Uh, I'm going to focus on her. See that behavior? She wants to pull away. Good. She comes in. Good. We've been working on this in the house. So the bottom line is recall needs to get better but you're never gonna get it better out here. There's too many distractions. So we'll have to work on recall in the house. And I'll show you some of the stuff that we have been doing early on, but now, and it hasn't been so bad that she doesn't come back. She never runs off. She, she never doesn't come back. It's just she doesn't come back with the consistency that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let her start to figure out that she's gonna have to move with me here. First time on the lead, and I'm just gonna work with her. I'm not gonna explain anything. If I have to, I'll explain it afterwards. But I think the explaining on the go gets in the way a little bit. So just watch. I want you just to watch and observe this. Okay, come on. Good, good, come on. See, the camera's getting in the way big time. Stay right there for a minute, Logan, don't move. 
Good. Good. Right now we're just bouncing her along. Trying to keep the lead out of her face. I got a question the other day. Someone said, how do I keep my dog from chewing on it? You gotta keep it out of their out of their out of their mouth. So she goes to I need to keep it away from her. Good. Good. Good girl. She gets going good and we'll change directions. Come on. Stay right there, Logan. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Good. The reason I want this flat collar is because I'm gonna bounce her with it. And the slip the slip is just too much. The slip's not effective right now. She doesn't it would just be choking her. That's using it wrong. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And so she's gonna fight through this little panic, panic, dig her feet in. I'm gonna bump her. Good, good. When she does it well, good. I'm gonna stop. Good. I haven't even worked on sit with the dog yet. 13 weeks old. And I don't feel behind. Good. Because I'm just not in a hurry. I do want conclusion. I think that's the point that I want is I want to conclude something. So we just bounced her around back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. She did pretty well there the last five, six seconds. So I stopped it and concluded it. I kind of put a period at the end of the sentence. Good. Good. And now we'll get moving again. Good. Good dog. There's a nice little response. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Good dog. There. Nice eyes. Good girl. Good dog. That's very nice. Very nice. I'm real happy. Nope. Nope. Come on. Change directions. She panics a little bit. No. Now she's getting to be wanting to play a little bit. No, we're not going to do that either. Come on, come on. Here's the part where she's got to fight through this. I got to, I got to stick to my guns here. Come on. Good. Good turn. Come on. And stop. Easy. Easy. Normally I want my dogs to sit at that point. I just don't want her jumping up. I don't mind if she stands. Good. Right there. Easy. Easy. I love that she's coming to me. Normally she moves off when I reach down to her. When she's standing there and I reach down to her, she likes to back up. So I love that she's coming into me. Good. 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 Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Not worried about words right now like heel. She doesn't even know what the hell we're doing. So heel won't mean anything to her. Good. Nope, this way. She's got to pay attention to that turn. Good. Come on. She only feels bumps when she's out of position really dramatically. Good. As long as she's moving, I don't even care if she's half a step back right now. As long as she's moving. Come on, come on, come on, come on. When she stops or goes the opposite direction or is not moving, then she's going to feel a pump, a little, little tap. Good, come on. Good girl, that's it. She's not running out in front, which is great. There she did. She got a little correction. Good. Now we turn. There, come on. Good. There, come on. Good. That, that was real nice. It wasn't perfect, but it was real nice. What I'm running into is when I stop, she anchors, continues to face the opposite direction. Now she's going too far out. I should have turned there. But I corrected her. Come on. Good. There's a real nice turn. I mean, it feels like spring. It's probably like 16 degrees right now. So it's not like it's super nice out. But if we have finally got some sun. It's really the first training session we've done outside. Good girl. There. She was real good, and then she decided to fight it. You just can't lose those battles. Good. Easy. Easy. Good. Easy, good. I want her to get used to me coming down and touching her. Good. Not backing up. Good. Good. Good, very nice. And that's about it. I don't need to do anything more with her today.
Good girl. Now, since I got you guys with, so normally, I'm gonna put her away after this. I'm gonna take her right in the house and put her away. I'm just gonna show you, just because I got the guys at the camera, we're just gonna go up and down the driveway, just like we did in the beginning of this session, and I wouldn't recommend doing this. Come on, come on, let's go, all right, let's go, let's go. And there's, I, I've been saying, let's go, let's go, and I kind of release her on it. She, this is where the nose will get her into some trouble. Let's go, come on, let's go, let's go, we're going this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, that's it, good girl. Oh, the nose gets her in trouble. Let's go, come on, let's go. Come on, we're leaving, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. That's it, come on, you can see she wants to. Come on, that's it, good girl. Good choice. Good dog. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're going. Let's go, let's go. That's a good dog. Oh, you're so good. Very good. And I don't, I get her back and then I move again. Eventually I want her to come in and settle with me. But I'm not going to fight her on it. I know she's not going to do it. So I'm just happy to get her moving with me. Come on. And we do this, we've been doing this every day. We go for... I don't know, it's a little over a mile walk probably. Just building up her confidence exploring stuff. And she's getting real good at it. There's a good dog, that was a really nice check-in. Come on, and now I'm gonna turn and go. So she looked at me and I'm going the other way. She's gonna get distracted with some scent. And here she comes, let's go, come on. Come on, let's go. That's a good choice. Good girl, I love it. I love it when she anchors in like that. Good dog, oh, you're so good. Oh, you're so good. Come here, come here. Oh, say hi to Logan, good girl. Good girl, more than enough for this session. This is longer than I normally would go. Come on, let's go, here, here, here. So, that's it. I'm, instead of trying to catch her right now, come on. We'll give it one more shot. Here, 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 here. What you got? Come here, I'll throw a snowball for you. Come here. Come here. I used food to get her to come in the house a little bit better for a couple days. Come here. But we phased that out pretty quick. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What do you got? Come here. And I might go back to it in the house for a little bit. We'll show you that. Um, I'll show you exactly what we do with that. But it's not gonna be a primary thing for me. But, so me to get her in the house now, now what I do, I'd bring her around. Why don't we film it guys, you just, I'll show you exactly what I do. Cause she does come in the house pretty good, especially from the backyard. So I'd bring her around. We get up on the porch. And I get momentum going up onto the porch. And she tends to follow me up and in pretty good. And once she's in the house, it's a very different story. As far as her, she doesn't run off in there. She knows better and I took away a lot of options for her. Good girl, good girl. Come on, let's go, come on, let's go. Good dog, good dog. Good dog, the rabbit's over there. You see the distraction there? Whoa, what you got? Now watch how she responds here because we've got a lot of rabbits around. And this is challenging. Go on. That's a good dog. That's a good dog. Good girl. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go, come on. Let's go, come on, let's go, let's go. <clears throat> Good girl, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. 
Hey, 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 come on. Good girl. Good dog, let's go, come on, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Here, 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 Makina, let's go. Come on, let's go, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. I've got the little tennis ball here. What is this? What is this? Come on. Come on. You wanna go? Here, here. Come on, let's go. Come on. I'm gonna have you guys go in the house because part of it is she's hung up a little bit with you guys there. But keep rolling because I think this is perfect. You should see the struggles that, so this is, this is some of the things that I run into. And the last thing I can do is lose my cool chaser out of there. Now look how quickly she decides, oh, I kind of want to go in there. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll get, I'll end up just closing the door. Come on, there, and now she's in. So a lot of that issue was with you guys hanging out now, she doesn't have anywhere to go and look at the change look at the difference now she's in she's curling in so in the house it's a whole different story good girl good dog she gets a little bit of freedom she gets to move good girl but she just doesn't she doesn't have anywhere to run off to so i can walk up to her good girl and this is where we're going to get really good at recall but too much too much of a session right now for her I mean, it's gone too long. So now she's got a couple options. She comes in and she goes on place. We'll take this off and save it for tomorrow. Or what I'm probably going to do, because I do think that that little bit of that little bit of exercise there wasn't a lot physically, but it's quite a bit mentally. And so she will probably rest pretty good in comparison to when I take her and I walk her all the way around the property, it's you know a mile plus, and I bring her in, and she's tired then. But it's not much mental, it's just free running. I'm getting value out of that free running because I know she's exploring and she's building confidence, and we get a little bit of recall stuff out of that and move with me in the same direction. That kind of stuff is real good. But this is more, and now I have to think and use my head and I'm asking her to start using her head and putting her head to her feet and that's going to be even more that'll probably tire her out even more actually because she's bred to run so um, you saw the first session where we ever put her on a leash here you will have seen videos or if this is the first one you're watching go back and watch what happened in the last four weeks leading up to this place training recall a little bit of steadiness at feeding times it's really been our focus we're going to film specifically on the place training some videos too because I'll show you what we did because I just kind of documented it candidly, but then we're going to get into it a little more extensively um, and talk about it more specifically. And we're going to do that with uh, um, on a podcast. So I'm going to record a podcast. So, but that's what we'll do. We'll um, we'll end up with sharing her story um, in a less formal way. It, it sometimes. And then in a more formal way, because multiple cameras and as she gets older, we'll be able to get into more and more of that. But um, I, I want to, I guess one of the points I want to make is she's 12 weeks old, almost 13 weeks. She might be, I think she might be 13 weeks actually. Um, and I, I have not... I'm not working with birds with her. I'm throwing a puppy. I'm throwing a puppy dummy and a tennis ball up and down in here a little bit. You're gonna see some of that leading up to it. Like that's all we're doing. Super, super basic stuff. Um, but maybe more importantly, probably more importantly, I'm avoiding a lot of bad habits that would be challenging and a real pain in my butt um, down the road. That's at least my thought with it. So. Excited to be back with her, with her in this series, and like I said, it's gonna be a combination of formal and informal. So um, hopefully, hopefully, we bring some some stuff that's valuable to you.